Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about AMC stock. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Today's Sunday. I know we're all very excited for Monday to see what's the price action going to be on AMC stock as well as Ape. So <clears throat> many of you have asked in the comments again from my most recent video what we need to do to get up to date with what the judge requires of us in order to be a part of the opt-out clause for the lawsuit that's going on. So there are some things we need to do, each one of us needs to do in a timely manner before it's too late because things are moving pretty quickly um, with the court papers in the AMC court case. Okay, so hit like, hit subscribe and notifications, share the video with a friend and let's get started, all right? So I'm gonna tell you where to send the letter, what the civil action number is, what you need to include inside the letter so you can get this done ASAP. I hope you friends all send it out on Monday. Just be determined to do it and get it done. Because if you don't, <clears throat> if you don't get it done in time, it will pass you by because the judge is about to come out with new instructions and new orders to where we have to send, fill out a form potentially and send some information to her. But in the most recent court documents, it says she referred to it said for those who already submitted paperwork uh, objecting type of thing um, and followed the appropriate guidelines. So, you know, it sounds like, you know, she's saying you better get your stuff in quick type of thing. OK, so <clears throat> before this form comes out, we need to get this in ASAP if you haven't done it already and if you have done it already, keep listening to make sure you did it right. And if you didn't, send it again. Okay, so what we need to do to make sure that we're not going to accept this lawsuit if it gets approved by the judge is we need to send a letter. Now, where do we send it? I'm going to post it right here so you can see it um, on this uh, screen. Um, it's So you're going to write to Vice Chancellor Morgan Zern um, and then the address... I have it here. You can see register in Chancery, Leonard L. Williams Justice Center, 500 North King Street, Suite 11600, Wilmington, Delaware, 19801. That's the court, okay? And then you want to include on there the civil action number 2023-0215-MTZ. And then, you know, start it out. Say, Dear Vice Chancellor Morgan T. Zern, comma, and then start talking, okay? And say what you want to say. And then if there's a subject line for some reason, you can say AMC Entertainment Holdings, Inc., Stockholder Litigation, Civil Action Number, and then you put the 2023-0215-MTZ, and the subsequent proposed settlement between plaintiff and AMC. Okay. <clears throat> now, you got that piece of it right, and you can say what you want to say in there. And um, But you need to make sure you include $2 per page for court fees. You could do money order or check. Um, I'm going to be sending um, another, uh, I'm going to be sending a packet out with cash in it. I don't want to use a check or a money order. I don't think they'll have a problem taking cash. I know technically you're not supposed to mail cash. Do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to mail cash. I'm not a financial advisor. That's not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion of what I'm going to do. Okay. So. $2 per page for the court fees and you send it now. So you got to do that as well. All right. Then another thing you have to do, you have to print out proof of your AMC shares ownership. And if you have ape, do the same thing just to be safe. So basically the best way to do it is you're going to print a PDF from the um, broker where you hold your shares, go into your uh, broker, Go into um, account, go into documents, and, and find your PDF of your most recent statement. Maybe they email it to you, search your email, find the PDF of your most recent statement, and you could send it to them, okay, to prove you own AMC stock. If you're having any trouble doing it, just get a hold of your customer service with your broker and ask them what to do, how you can get it, what's the easiest way for you to get it. You print it out on your printer. If you don't have a printer, you can email the PDF to um, a local um, UPS store, okay, or something similar, and they can print it there for you. You could use Office Depot, Office Max, something like that, and they'll print it for you if you want to email it to them. And then just put it in there with the money or the money order or the check, 
$2 per page, you got your proof, and then your letter, whatever you want to say in your letter, but make sure you say in the letter, hey, I don't want to be a part of this uh, settlement agreement. I want to opt out. This is my name, my address. These are my shares. And the other thing I recommend, ask the judge to cancel the reverse split. Tell her your financial future is reliant upon her canceling the reverse split because you don't want them to steal 90% of your shares. And ask the judge to do a little research. Say, look up reverse split stocks, okay? Look up WISA, WISA. Look up SNDL, Sundial. Look up COMS, okay? Look up any stock in the last two years that's done a reverse split and you're gonna see they all crashed really hard. So tell the judge, say, you know what the problem is, we're gonna lose 90% of our shares, but even worse, we know it's gonna crash based on what all the other reverse block, uh, split stocks did. They all crashed, so AMC wouldn't be any different. In addition to that, let the judge know. I did a video, I have a quote from Adam Aaron from two days ago where he said, they will have the ability um, after the reverse split, if it gets approved, to issue over 400 million new shares. And he wouldn't have said that if he wasn't eager to issue the 400 million new shares. So he's going to dilute the new float by about 400%. So you could potentially have the new price of AMC crash 400% right away. And it was it would probably crash even without him diluting it because all reverse splits crash. Let the judge know your concerns. Also let the judge know you feel the vote was rigged. If you do feel that way, it's up to you. I'm just giving you ideas and things to think about. And everything I'm giving you to think about is a fact. It's all truth. The vote was rigged. We actually won the common share vote if you take out the yes votes from institutions. If you take out the yes votes from Antara, you take out the yes votes from Vanguard and from BlackRock, we technically won <clears throat> the common share vote. We won it. So if he brainwashed you and told you that we voted yes by 85%, that's a scam. And that's why he used percentages because it's a scam and he's including the ape in there and he's also including the computer share votes that were automatic yes votes. And guess what, friends? You know how many automatic yes votes there were? Because if you're looking at AMC Common Stock, just AMC Common Stock, forget about ape for now, just AMC Common Stock, you know, where I have approximately, what, 515 million shares approximately? Okay. So how many, um, how many voted? I did a video on it. We had only 35% of that number actually vote the shares. 35% of the shares were voted, okay? So what does that tell you? 65% of the shares were not voted, okay? Of the common shares. Now, what else does that tell you? That means those 65% shares remaining were voted yes by Adam Aaron. They were voted yes. We won that vote. So ask the judge to look into that, okay? I mean, it's not conspiracy theory. It's not my thoughts. It's not my opinion on that fact, on that matter. It's a fact. It's numbers. It's mathematics. It's numbers. We won the vote, okay? I probably should do yet another video on that vote, and I think I probably will. But we won the vote, friends. The no votes won. The common shareholders, okay? And they put out APE to win the overall vote as well. And I did... I proved how they did that as well. So watch my videos. Go back in my channel and watch the last 10, 15, 20 videos if you have time. Because it's full of facts and data. You could take notes. You could send it to the judge if you want some hard data and some hard facts. And you want to build a strong letter? Look in my channel. Watch my last 10, 15, 20 videos and take notes. They're not that long of videos. They're full of facts, okay? You can just click into my channel and watch them. Um... So I'm excited for Monday, friends. I know we got letters going out. I know we're going to be saying we don't want to be a part of this uh, settlement. But don't forget, friends, make sure you ask the judge to cancel the reverse split and to rule ape illegal. Now, AMC and Antara, they both agree they want this settlement. But we don't. We don't want this settlement. And if they agree, this reverse split's going to go through. So we need the judge's help, friends, okay? Hit like, hit subscribe, add notifications, share the video with a friend, comment below, what do you want me to do a video on with AMC, in regards to AMC? What do you want to hear more about in regards to AMC? Also, I'm going to ask each one of you, have you subscribed yet? If not, why? We're all a community, we're working together, we're a great team. Just hit that little subscribe button, friends. Let, that's I'm asking you to do that. Also, hit like. 
um, I'm not afraid to ask you guys to do it. You know, some t you YouTubers, they, they don't want to ask. I, I'm not afraid to ask you guys. Please hit subscribe and please hit like. I, I do want you to do that. Um, and I would be grateful and thankful. And um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to have some more. I'm going to have some more information for you very soon. I've just got like so much notes. I've got so much to share with you. But I have to be selective and have an order to things, okay? So I'll talk to you soon. Okay.